Coach, this uh, five goals after three goals last week, is this kind of the effect of when a team can train together and practice together for several weeks without injuries and, and consistency of lineup and things like that? Well, it, it can be. I mean, number one is uh, always a team effort. Is uh, the players putting everything together in every training session and working together on the field. Uh, so today I'm very proud of everyone's hard work and the reward is those moments of brilliance in the final third. But uh, everything starts with good defending, good being for each other, fighting, competing, chasing, pressing, all those little details that I feel that were very important. And yes, obviously continuity and having a full roster helps for that goal. How could Tiago Almada get better than he is now? Um, we are always critical of ourselves, and, and, and we will find something for sure. I know it's tough to see because he does many, many good things. Uh, but one thing I can share with you is before the game, we're talking about striving for perfection. And uh, if we striving for perfection, we need to do better in certain situations. We can be more clinical in the final third at times. We can maintain the clean sheet, even though we did a great job at limiting good chances for Portland. We should have gotten the clean sheet tonight, which makes me a little bit upset, but at the same time, it, it, it will keep us grounded because we know there are things to improve. So not just Diablo, but everyone will find things, will find, uh, things to, to work on, on the week and, and to do better. Okay. Uh, Gonzalo, speaking of, of Thiago, I'm curious what type of, I guess, player, human being you saw after the World Cup when you rejoined the team. Uh, his talent, obviously, he was showing that last season. He's always showing talent. But did you see maturity? Was he really extra motivated from having been with that team for over 30 days? What type of player did you see from that perspective? Well, a bit of everything you just described. Um, I can imagine at his age, he's champion of the world, being in the same locker room with the best player in the world. Um, it, it helps in your development, for sure. But it can also be a distraction at his age. And if he's not mature enough, that can be, oh, I, I, I'm done. I can retire now, and I did everything in my career. And that's not the reaction I saw from Thiago since the first day back. He was not taking liberties at all. He was here on time for the first day back. He was, he's been here on time for everything. He gets out of the building very late because he does treatment. He does the gym properly. I see all those little details that tell me that Thiago is, still has a big ceiling ahead of him and he's striving for that. So very happy with that attitude. We will continue sending the message of let's go on that direction, on that path, but very happy with that. So now, oh, go ahead. Just quickly, the third goal, you had to have been really happy with that, the way the ball moved across the field twice. Um, it, it was, I think it started from just Thiago and, and, and I think it was Brooks and a couple guys, just a little bit of tiki taka, and then boom. How, like, what? How would you describe that goal in terms of what you've worked on tactically with the team? Well, we don't work in in kind of yes, we work in patterns and we work in ways to balance the opponent, whether it's in the midfield, in parent third, but that's the fluidity that I dream with a team that understands the principles of play and then they apply in any situation. So at times. I've been listening a lot because of the last three points we got outside of home. That possession is not important. Today we had 60% and we won 5-1. So possession matters when, when we do good with the ball, right? So today I think we did that. We were always looking for long switches. We were always doing uh, breaking lines, looking to attack the, the, the primacy zones, a lot of balls in behind for Yaku that we, we need to work on the timing of those runs. But, uh, but we did many, many good things with the ball. So more than the possession is what we do with that amount of possession. The game that, the, the goal that you are describing is a fantastic goal that starts, yes, with a little bit of possession, deeper in our half, then Thiago switching the point of attack to Luis, uh, that those two are understanding very, very well. They are yelling out. Then Luis fantastically switches the point of attack again, directly to Caleb and Caleb, Caleb's quality for service, uh, for doing that service was great to Yakumakis. Credit a little bit there to Rob that's been working very hard with Caleb on the crossing 
and they've been working with uh, Yakumakis as well at that connection with Brooks and, and Caleb. So very happy for that. But the whole the whole play was was very good on that third goal. So now then, so coach, can you describe how well Caleb Wilder is playing right now? I'm sorry. Can you describe how well Caleb Wilder is playing right now? Cool. Where to start? I mean, uh, he does again same as what I said about the team. Everything starts with the defending, the defending side, and how we start to have confidence and believe in what we do based on how good we're pressing on the ball, how good we're winning the duels in the middle of the field. We were very specific today about the second balls after they play long balls. And I don't know if that's what they say, but I felt that we won most of those. Um, and then Caleb, we've never trained these, but I know that he can do it at times. It looks like a bad five because he was coming back to defend uh, against Mosquera that was very high. And then Andrew shifting over with the back four when the ball was on the other side. And, and Caleb does all those little things, helping uh, Andrew to defend better in that part of the field. And then in transition, he's doing very good. Uh, and again, I, I said this, um, last week about I hope those two goals that he scored against Charlotte uh, with a little bit more confidence and believing himself I think today he showed that yes he's doing that and uh, I think you still haven't seen the full package of Caleb Wiley I still think he has many things to prove out there and I hope this is the season where he, he has a lot of more goals and assists. So you have been done. It's all just going back quickly to yeah, goals, another free kick goal, um, just another impressive achievement for him. Um, in your time of finding the game, how did you kind of rate that particular free kick from what you see? Yes, amazed by the quality Diego has. I wasn't expecting, honestly, a, a shot. Then I saw the the little treatment wall that we are working on, putting there, just kind of distracting with the, the, the goalkeeper and even the wall of the opponent. And uh, I thought Thiago was crossing the ball actually, and then he does that fantastic shot, just top of the corner. It was just, just I was just like any other fan on the building, just enjoying that that free kick. Mm -hmm. So um, as you probably know, the highest outgoing transfer fee for a player is Miguel Monroe, Bradley, of course. 27 million or thereabouts. Um, do you feel this time that uh, Tiago could match that or exceed that at this current point in time? I, I hope so, but at the end of the day, I, I, I'm just working the day by day and the game by game, and I hope just Tiago continues with this good run. Now with the national team, hopefully he gets minutes, he gets that confidence again, and when he's back after Columbus, uh, he's proving that week by week. And then I hope, yes, we can we can do good in there, but I'm more focused on the day-by-day -day, uh, behaviors. Uh, two questions. The first is, we see the players practicing some free kicks after the sessions before the interviews, but they're usually about 20 yards. Do y'all work on free kicks from 30 to 35 yards during the week? Not, not many times. I mean, I don't think he practiced that far. Uh, they, they used to practice on both sides of the, of the, uh, of the box. Um, and they do that regularly, so I hope uh, they are getting uh, a lot of repetitions and they continue with that. I always tell them uh, that yes, having good free kick, uh, free kick takers, uh, we need to get the fouls. And so we need to be in those dangerous areas, we need to be in the pocket, we need to be dribbling, taking risks, so we get the fouls. And then obviously, yes, I know um, Tiago was very good. Luis yesterday, he scored a lot of goals as well. Brooks is very good as well. So. I think uh, we need to continue with that thing. Second, on Tuesday, you kind of walked us through the training session of what y'all going to work on. Any of the goals tonight or result of some of those things y'all worked on on Tuesday? Well, a little bit. Uh, I mean, we were working uh, on blocking your passes of not allowing uh, the opponent to go through the middle. Uh, immediate transition, if you remember, a little bit of defending in the 3v3 inside a little rondo and then after that they have to break out um, and uh, and today I felt that especially the first ball it, it started with good defending first in the pre in the corner kick I think and then after that the second ball Andrew is putting a lot of good effort there to block the crosses we get the second ball uh, Miles wins the header and then from there the, the transition moment starts uh, we're working a lot in those transition moments because I think we have pace and talented players up front 
to be good in transition, which is something last year we didn't really do. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so, so I hope those type of sequences continue happening in, in every game. How much you guys miss locker room uh, players to be leaving soon? So locker room's open, got time for a couple more.